it, for me, it's a real pleasure to be here with you during the, this year Open Access Week. The, uh, this year's theme is open to collaboration, so I'm here open to collaboration, and it was a, a real pleasure to be here and, and to learn and to share and to be able to share some, some, some of our uh, knowledge. So, um, my name is Ricardo Saraiva, I come from the University of Minho. Uh, I work there as the, as the repository manager. And in this presentation, I will be talking about the, some, some guidelines or, or some, some give you some information about, about uh, the re uh, requirements to meet Horizon 2020 requirements. Um, in this uh, presentation, we will go through these points, uh, a brief context of the open air infrastructure then talk more in detail about the guidelines for data providers, for data sources, and uh, the, adaptation, uh, the, the adoption and mapping with other repository networks, future directions, and in the end, a more practical uh, uh, part with tools and, 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 and uh, um, ways for you to, to, to or, or tools for you to, to use in terms of uh, testing your repository compatibility. So I will not be um, very, uh, in, in, enter in much detail in this part. Open Air is a open, uh, an open access infrastructure for research in Europe. It has, uh, it has been guided, uh, it, 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 began, it began in 2009 uh, as, as, open air, uh, uh, as an open air um, project to support uh, and 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 give um, some uh, uh, provide some assistance in terms of the implementation of the the policy the, the open access pi pilots that uh, the, the European Commission started uh, during the seventh uh, framework program uh, and more recent in the Horizon 2020. Um, model in this news, news framework, um, this project now called Open Air 2020 has been supporting and, and, and being, being uh, giving some assistance in this area. It's a participatory um, approach. It's a, pro it's a project that relies upon the human collaboration, human network, uh, uh, collaboration between um, institutions, between researchers, and it is also a service based on a infra infrastructure. It also is a, an integrated scientific information system um, because it collects uh, metadata from uh, CRIS systems, funding, informa funding uh, in information from, from other sources. Uh, it collects the full text from, from uh, literature repositories and open access journals and other kind of uh, data repositories in terms of usage. It provides validation, cleaning, deduplication. It's often, um, it's common to, to see uh, the same publication deposits in, in different repositories. So during this process, the, the, the open air platform cleans and only shows the one, one time the, 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 the publication, uh, also in terms of linking the, 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 the publication to data. So we can consider the open air platform a sort of mini CRIS, uh, European uh, CRIS system, in term, because it collects information about data, data sets, authors, publications, data providers, projects, organizations. Uh, it also has uh, another plus, it has Zenodo. Zenodo is a, 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 it's a repository um, um, meant to, 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 to be used by, by researchers and institutions that don't have a, a, um, a platform that they can use in their own institution, and so they can, uh, can deposit uh, all uh, resource types in this in this platform. So the the open the open air uh, open air uh, project provides uh, all kind of services in terms of discovery, crowdsourcing, crowdsourcing monitoring, reporting, uh, APIs, uh, even classification, clustering, analysis, evaluation, and impact. 
Currently, uh, in open air system, we have it has uh, it aggregates more than 12 million publications, more than 9,000 uh, data sets from uh, about 6,000 repositories and open access journals. In terms of the content acquisition, uh, in terms of the, the, the publications, uh, what is uh, the main focus of the open air is all open access content, also all content that is, is EC funded uh, by, by, by the European Commission, and other kinds of uh, resources, um, national or other funded content. In terms of data, data is linked with the publication, the open air information system, and it also uh, tries to, to, to aggregate, to, 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 to collect uh, EC funded content, national or other funded content. Talking more in detail about the open, um, open air uh, guidelines. Where we started? We started using OIA, OIA DC, the 15 elements based on Dublin Core metadata uh, ele element scheme. Um, it has been used in, in numerous interpretations for inter interoperability issue. Requires agreements on syntax using OAPMH and OEDC, Dublin Core, and semantics uh, control vac vocabularies. It has been set upon the, the, the driver guidelines that were introduced in 2008. It added some more fields that I will talk uh, shortly and introduced uh, uh, an application profi profile, uh, a namespace, InfoEU uh, repo uh, application for profile for encoding schemes. It has been mainly used to describe textual resources and it has been uh, continued, con continued by in open air guidelines since 2009 when op uh, open air uh, project started. In, my, in the meantime, the open air scope and requirements have been expanded since then uh, by complementary types of data sources uh, from, for, for, um, for research data and research information, non-textual content, publication and data, and data linking, project con contextualization, and for new global authoritative identifier-based infrastructures for authors, contributors, funders, projects, research outputs. So, in terms of uh, sort of guide, uh, timeline, uh, driver introduced in 2008 uh, guidelines for text repositories, and since 2010, 12, open air has been uh, continued the, 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 the driver guidelines, but uh, linking or collecting also those, those publications with um, EEC funded, and namely by the seventh uh, framework program. Since 2013, uh, Open Air intends to collect uh, all the, uh, as you've seen in, in the previous slides, all the, 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 the EC funded and other funded projects, also open access content. Um, it has been working in three, t three kinds of guidelines, guidelines for text repositories using uh, OAIDC uh, uh, scheme, and uh, for data, repositories has been using OIA data site uh, scheme, and in terms of query systems, has been using a uh, serif uh, uh, system. Uh, um, so, in terms of the, the, these three kinds of guidelines, we have uh, the literature guidelines for journal and, and repository uh, platforms, using uh, or continuing expanding uh, uh, the driver guidelines. For data repositories, we uh, has been using the data, data site scheme and for Chris systems, Serif XML uh, scheme. So how do they work? Um, the identification of open access funded results is, is done by OAA sets. Um, Sets means that in, a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in one set we can expose a kind of uh, 
different types of pu publications. For example, we, in one set we can show only the open access publications. In another set, for example, uh, the driver set only uh, shows uh, um, uh, lists all the open access sources. So all these sets, EEC funded resources, exposes only the EC funded publications. Open Air, as you saw in the, in the previous slides, uh, intends to, to expose all the open access uh, publications plus the EEC funded and other funded publications. For, for data, for data um, exposition or to show data, we can set or, or can, 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 can uh, create another set for des des designated open air data. Um, the latest schema guarantees backwards compatibility with previous versions. Also, latest uh, and, and, and enhancing results by, by metadata enrichment in open air. So, with, with all these, repository managers will be able to enable authors to fulfill the European Commission uh, open access requirements. Giving more details in terms of the literature uh, um, repository uh, guidelines. As I said before, it continues the driver um, version two guidelines. Um, it's, they are based on, on, on the, the transfer OAA payment protocol, but not limited to this. Uh, in terms of the metadata format, so far they are using OAE DC Dublin Core. So they expand all, or they so far because all these guidelines can 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 be uh, further uh, enhanced, expanded. Um, they use also application profiles to 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 be applied to certain uh, metadata fields like uh, um, DC rights, uh, DC types. Um, and they are extended by properties to describe, uh, for example, the funder, the project information, embargo periods, embargo um, end periods, um, the, 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 the kind of access that's applied to the, to the publication, alternative identifiers. We can, we can on the metadata records, um, expose or, or put there the, 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 a link to other to other to, to the same publication, but uh, um, um, submitted elsewhere. To reference within this record also the, 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 the data set that is associated to the publication, and also to 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 to, to introduce referenced publications in 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 the in the, in the single record. So, to group uh, metadata relevant for open air, uh, one must set this one, one. We must, on our own repositories, we must create an open air set, as I said, to expose metadata for open access publications, metadata for publications funded by EEC uh, seventh framework program or Horizon 2020 uh, program but also metadata, metadata to, to, to provide information for other uh, funding agencies um, from, for other countries or whatever. So this is the, in terms of the open air elements, what has been added, what has been um, uh, the, uh, the, the main novelties uh, added to the driver guidelines. So these three elements are the, the main elements that were introduced, but I will show you more in detail. The project ID can be described in the DC relation field. So it's, uh, in terms of usage, it's a mandatory field uh, if applicable, okay? So this, is, this field is, is intended to, to be used for example, a researcher submits a publication, and that publication was was funded by by uh, by the European Commission by the European Commission by your national uh, uh, funding agency. In this field, you can put uh, the, the 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 information, the grant the grant number, the the, the project identification, um, the open air. Uh, 
recommends this, 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 the, the, the introduction of this um, uh, application profile, InfoAU grant agreements, but I can show you later how, how, you can, uh, how we can surpass this kind of information or to simplify this, in the introduction of this information on the repository uh, side, but I will show you um, uh, ahead. So in terms of DC rights, it's the, the, the rights that, uh, it's, uh, in terms of usage, this field is mandatory. So the researcher, the submitter, must uh, indicate uh, all during this process what kind of rights should be applied to his, to his, to his uh, deposit, to his publication. If it's closed access, okay, it's only exposed the metadata, but the, the, the publication is not accessible. If uh, it has, it, if it is embargoed access, okay, if it, uh, it must comply with a, an embargo period. If it's restricted access, we can uh, adjust to be restricted to a, to a, to a group of, uh, of people. It can be restricted to an to a institution uh, of, or, or desirably, if it is open access, uh, it should be put in this, in this, uh, in this, uh, like this, okay? The DC date also embargo, uh, the element embargo end date is also mandatory if applicable, okay? If the author is submitting a, a publication that must comply with the embargo period, this field must be uh, uh, also um, introduced by, by, by by on, 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 the, on the submission forms and then later on be retrieved by, 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 by the metadata. So this is the, one must respect this, this, uh, this, this, uh, this way to, to, to fill it, okay? So in terms of alternative identifiers, also we are using, or the open air suggests to use DC relation. We can put like this, like this example, we can, um, Add the information to a DOI of uh, this this publication. We must we can we can put on this field the information that this publication is uh, is already available elsewhere in a, in, a, in a journal in a, in another uh, in, a, in another publication. Okay. To reference data sets, we can also use the same the same field, DC relation. Then we must. Uh, add this information, info, AU, repo, semantics, data set, and then we can use uh, different, uh, different schemes. We can use uh, DOI, ARC, Archive, Andal, ESPN, Perl. There are a lot of choices, choices, options there. In terms of reference publications, uh, also DC relation. In this case, it's only uh, recommended. It's not... Um, uh, optional or it's a recommendation and also uh, encodes links to publications referenced by this, this public by, 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 by this publication and we can uh, put all this information also at the, the metadata level registry registry okay so as you see to meet horizon 2020 guidelines we have already set uh, um, uh, some, some fields where we can put uh, this information, uh, DC type, DC date, DC contributor, all these, uh, I think uh, afterwards this presentation will be available and we'll, you can see this more in detail, but as you see all these fields can uh, adjust, be adjusted to, to comply to, to, to the requirements of Horizon 2020. Um, requisites. So, entering in, in another kind of guidelines, guidelines for data uh, providers, um, giving giving you some 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 information about these. They are based on data data site metadata scheme. Uh, they have proven to be a standard for heterogeneous data sources and cross disciplinary archives. Um, they are maintained by, by a trusted and, 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 and sustainable uh, uh, organization such, such as DataSite. Um, and they support uh, support of data citation. In terms of the metadata formats, we must use OAA data sites, 
the, the OIA set uh, must be like this, open air dash data. And for this, if you want to, to experiment, for example, in the University of Minho, we are doing a sort of uh, a pilot to, and if we want, uh, Victoria raised the question earlier, if uh, I had a researcher in my institution and he said, okay, I have uh, data, I want to, to comply with Horizon 2020, what I should do, okay, if in my institution I don't have yet uh, a platform to comply with that, I can, I can uh, point him to, 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 to Zenodo. We already, as an institution, created a community. It's very simple, it's, not, uh, it's, it's open, you can use it, but you can point already your, 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 your um, researcher that is interested in complying and show him, okay, you have already a, 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 a platform that you can use. Okay, so that's not a, a, an excuse not to use. But for, and in our case, we are already experimenting with Zenodo and see what, what's coming on. And even uh, afterwards, we can, can use Zenodo as our main platform, but we can also decide to, to have our own uh, data repository if, if we decide to, to go that way, okay? So the guidelines for research data are based on, on, are based, uh, on data sources. They have some adaptations for open air, including PI Day schemes to DOI, URN, ARC, recommends links to related publications and data sets, recommends contribu contributor properties. Um, dates and description are uh, mandatory enforces also the, the use of the application profile info EU, uh, encoding scheme on rights property. Um, in terms of guidelines for quiz managers, it's a new area that we are also um, seeing uh, a big, big developments. They, we are using a serif uh, XML uh, um, standard it has been uh, has been seen by the by the community as a, a standard in increased systems for data model um, using entities for organization persons project output etc um, and is maintained by Eurocris as a sustainable uh, organization okay this is difficult to read but these are the the serif uh, entities uh, relevant for open air, funding, equipment, project, e person, organization, okay, this is... So, um, they, 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 the, the serif um, XML has adaptations for open air, subset for serif entities relevant for open air, S to semantic, in terms of semantic interoperability, they reuse um, serif uh, semantics vocabulary for classification uh, and definition of relationships between the entities um, and promote consistency, consistency with other open air guidelines, uh, example, uh, for example, resources, access types. So to sum up, uh, in terms of um, Compatibility status, levels, and OAA sets. We started with Open Air Basic uh, that only exposed uh, open access content via driver OAA sets. Uh, I, I, I did some, some homework. I saw that in, in Cyprus you have some, uh, some, some repositories that have already uh, they are already compliant with this level, uh, the open air basic. I think the University of Cyprus uh, is on open air two or open air two plus compliance uh, um, level. In terms um, of, um, but the future is pointing, the, 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 the newest guidelines point to open air three that wants to, to expose all the open access, open access content and or uh, national or EC funded content um, 
on this uh, set that is called open air, okay? So, entering to uh, another topic, adoption and mapping with other repositories networks. Uh, for example, in Latin American open access repositor repositories network, they, they have already used some central elements and, and use of vocabularies like open ac uh, access rights, use of creative commons are recommended, like, uh, like you are doing some, some work here. Um, considers regional ac aspects compared to open air regarding mandatory, mandatory if applicable, and recommended use of metadata fields. Um, Collaboration between Latin America, um, La Referencia, and Open Air ensures future compatibility with, with, with guidelines, with the Open Air guidelines. Also in Europe, um, REOX is um, to support UK, UK repositories for compliance with funders' OA policies. Um, to support the, the, the European Commission or Horizon 2020 um, uh, requirements um, mandate is, is, is currently done via uh, agreed mapping between REOX and Open Air. Okay, there is a, a mapping between REOX and Open Air literature guidelines. So, in terms of future directions, um, for inno innovative scholarly services, um, we need of improved metadata quality uh, features to, to disambiguate by identifiers for authors, uh, contributors, funders, projects, research outputs, uh, explicit, explicit links to landing pages and full text, um, explicit links between publications and other research outputs, detailed bi bibliographic citation information, Okay, explicit, explicit machine-readable license information, um, compatible with linked data principles. It's important to link the publications to data. Um, also, uh, extensibility towards open access pro properties. Um, in terms of um, backward compatibility and low barrier upgrade following uh, Dublin Core Metadata Initiative Guide on Publishing Metadata, and also um, follow core interest groups like in control voc vocabularies. So it's important in terms of al alignments, it's needed uh, between major repositories initiatives like La Referencia, Share, Reox, Open Air, uh, follow uh, open working groups like uh, COAR, CASRAI, on interoperability for alignment in terms of metadata elements and vocabularies. Um, it's also very important to, to follow and to, to be, to be on, on, uh, on these this interest groups like controlled vocabularies promoted by COAR. It's a community driven to, to, to su supersede info EU application profile. Um, working on uh, an update technological standards, uh, the board to, to ensure expertise and long-term support. Um, and this is it, entering to another topic, some tools for repositories. It, this is a more practical uh, part, uh, tools to, 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 to you, for you to use for promote compatibility. One first step, this is uh, an important one, is to, to, to make sure that you had uh, the information about your repository to, to, to the right um, information sources like Open Door uh, and to, to register your repository. Currently, for what I could see in Cyprus, there are registered three repositories there, okay? So this is a, a first step that's important for those here in Cyprus that are beginning their work and will be creating their own repositories. So they should, after the creation, uh, soon after, uh, register them here for them to be um, correctly uh, exposed. After this register, 
You can use some tools provided by the Open Air project, like, like the Open Air uh, Validator. This is the link. If you want, in, our, in your own institutions, you can uh, sign in uh, and then to promote uh, a, a test to, 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 to check, to test the compatibility of your repository. So you can, can go there, put your information about your, your, inf your repository and test what is the level, what is the current level of compatibility of your repository. And uh, based on the, on the results that you obtain, you can then try to, to adjust, to comply, to, to put your, your repository um, uh, compliant with these uh, guidelines or these orientations. Um, the open air provides its validator as I told you, it's, it verifies the, the, the repository is truly compatible with guidelines. You can use, uh, as I said, you can run a compatibility test entering your OEH, PMH base URL. Then you can test, uh, as, I, as I told you, uh, you can test for different uh, levels of compliance. If you want uh, compliance 3.0 to 2.0 to, to plus, you can test in different levels to see if it is compliant. And then, as I said, you can adjust uh, uh, the settings for you to, to be able to comply with this. You can, you can run compatibility tests for usage to check if you have already the, the, the right sets to expose information, open air sets, EC funded resources, driver, if you want to, 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 to use the open air uh, for data also. And for content, um, as I told you, there are a lot more uh, elements than those I, I, I showed you before. They, they, they are based on driver guidelines. Some of them are mandatory, like title, uh, author, but you can you can test. It's important to know that it's some 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 of these uh, fields are recommended. So if you don't use it, okay, that's not that that won't be a, a big problem. You can you can uh, try to use them if it's possible. But only the the mandatory and mandatory if applicable. Um, are, are, should be should be uh, uh, should be used. Not I'm not saying that you shouldn't use the, the other ones, but these these are important to comply to be compliant, compatible with with uh, with open air guidelines. Open air also provides an uh, an API um, to bulk access uh, to projects. Um, I had the the the. the the possibility to be with you yesterday on a meeting. You are doing a lot of work, a lot of developments. I think we, we talked a bit about this. I think this is important to, to follow up. The Open Air project promoted uh, um, a, a service, uh, an API, to expose all the, the projects funded. In this case, they have already uh, uh, information for uh, funding streams for FP77 framework program, Welcome Trust, Horizon 2020. For example, in the, in the Portuguese case, our national, our main funder, FCT, already gave Open Air a list of all, 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 all funded projects they had, and they gave them to, to, to Open Air to, to put on this API, and we, you, you will see shortly how this works, okay? But, this enables to retrieve the information when you are uh, submitting your publications. You can then use that information to put the right information to, to, to identify correctly your, 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 um, your, your publications and, uh, and, and, the, and the, the, fun, the funded publications. So as you see, there are a lot of funders. Uh, they are coming new funders, uh, as you have here in, in Cyprus a good rep representative of uh, a national open access desk of open air also have the possibility to to act in this in this in this part and if you have the, the will to to to, do, to have also your your list of uh, um, projects also available available here to to be used so 
this is can be seen, how can we integrate this in, in this space? So we can go to, to the, the this space he prints endpoints. Uh, you have here the, the, um, the, the links, and you can use this to, to, to retrieve the information to your own repository. So in terms of add-on patches, plugins for repositories and journal software, you have a lot of information here. You can uh, retrieve information for this space in this link, also for ePrints, Invenio, OJS. Uh, you have also, on, on the end, you have a, a link for, for open air repository managers, a toolkit that you have a lot of information about this. You can, you can explore, you can see. Um, in terms of open air compatibility of for different uh, DSpace versions, for at, for what I could see in the in the in the um, these days that I've been here in Cyprus, I, I think um, almost um, um, the DSpace is here. You you all use DSpace. I think most of you are trying to migrate to the latest version, so. So you are pointing to this space five. So in this case, OAA2 is a, a standard part of this space five, uh, and this this uh, this um, is this this can be uh, a good news because uh, through um, through this 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 uh, OAA2, um, you can promote compatibility via uh, XOAI. Uh, with the, the guidelines uh, 3.0. What is OAI2? It's a, tan a standard part of this space 3, 4, and 5. It, it's a Java implementation um, of an AOA, OAA PMH that data provider that uses XOAI in a OAA uh, Java, Java library. Um, and why do you, you, do you need this? Because projects like OpenAir, Driver, have specific metadata requirements, as you've seen, as, as I show you. So as the uh, OAA PMH protocol don't, doesn't establish any framework to these specifics, um, this, this OAA interface can have more than one instance of an OAA interface feature to provide uh, the XOAA core library. So one could define an interface for different projects. So how this, how this works, uh, we must uh, apprehend or to, 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 to know some, some concepts. We have this, these three concepts, filter, transformer, contest. Uh, with a filter, it's possible to select information from the data source. From the data source. For example, we can go to the publications we only, we only want to, 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 to grab, to list the open access publications. So we can configure the filter just to, to get the open access publications. If we want the, the, the funded publications, we can adjust this filter just to pick th those, those publications. A transformer allows to make changes in the metadata before showing, showing, showing it in the OAA interface. For example, giving you a, an example. In the, um, in the input forms, in the, in the submission forms, you can um, have a, a, a simple, um, drop list, for example, in terms of DC rights. If you want to, to, uh, to author, to, to an author to say, to, 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 to just to, to mention what kind of access a publication should have. Okay, you, 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 you are not, um, you can only put a drop list with uh, terms like open access, uh, restricted access, and then when this, this uh, OAA2 uh, uh, through the XOAA, or XOAA exposes the, the, the information, it will add the, the namespace, the application profile, as you've seen, InfoAU open access in the, the right way the, 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 the open air needs to collect and to, to show it. So OAA2 also adds 
a new concept to, to the OAH PMH basic specification, uh, the concept or context. So as I told you, as I've been telling you, you can, you can uh, have uh, um, uh, um, URL just to expose different sets for driver, for open air, for, for other, for example, for our, for our, our national funder, uh, because uh, we implemented uh, a, a policy and a national policy, they asked all the repositories to create a subset just with the publications funded by the Portuguese uh, national main funder, FCT. So we created, for example, in our repository, we have a, a, a subset, a OEA PMH interface, that they can use later on if they want to monitor what publications are there. They only go get the ones that have uh, been funded and they are correctly uh, shown on, on the metadata. So just to, to give you a, a, an image about this, context could be seen as a vi vir virtual, distinct, oh, virtual distinct OA interfaces, okay? You can see uh, an interface driver, an open air uh, interface, another one. And this is, for example, in our case, you can test this, you can go to, into the uh, University of Minho and you, you can look if you want and, and to check these this different uh, contexts. In terms of uh, an OAA2 records in an in, in a open air set, what is exposed to, to the, to the, to the, through this, um, through, through this uh, OAA PMH um, interface? As you can see there, for example, and if you remember some of the fields I've, I told you before, some elements, for example, we have DC date, this is the date of publication, but then we have a DC date, another DC date, but if you uh, pay close, close attention, it has, with the application profile, it shows, this is a, a, an embargoed access publication, and it shows the date where it ends. Um, also, the, the, in terms of the type of publication, um, and on, on the end, you can see that a publication, in this case, is a doctoral thesis, I think. Uh, you can see that this publication, this, this doctoral thesis, has been funded by uh, the European Commission through a project, uh, and also by the national funder uh, through another project, okay? So, one later can be retrieved this information and reused to monitor, to, to, to do whatever which will be needed in this case, okay? Um, we have some DSpace add-ons for, for projects to use, uh, to apply to our repository for, for project ID identification. I won't go much in detail on, on the first one, op Open Air Authority Control, but what these add-ons um, do, they allow, allow users to search and include uh, the European Commission, Welcome Trust, FCT, if, uh, if, uh, if needed, uh, the Cyprus National Funder Information Project IDs in the metadata in accordance to, 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 to the Open Air requisites. So in these links, you can find these add-ons, you can use them freely, you can apply to your repositories, so what you will get, this is the first case, this is only applies to FP7 projects, what this uh, um, allows you, it's when a, a, a researcher is putting or someone is putting a, a publication, we can uh, create a, a specific uh, field, in this case to identify funded projects based on, as you remember, DC relation field, and you can just, in this case, uh, through a, a lookup, uh, introduce the, 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 the name, the acronym, the, the grant number, and you can retrieve the information in the right uh, way to, to, to have it on your uh, metadata uh, register of, or record for, for, for a publication. I think this one is more interesting. This one is uh, the Open Air Funders project list. So how does it work? This project has been integrating the information for 
all those cases I showed you before, the FP7, uh, Welcome Trust, Horizon 2020, and currently, between others, also, for, for example, in the Portuguese case, the, the national Portuguese funded uh, pro projects. So if I'm an author, I just go to, to the uh, input forms, I start typing my project number, for example, Pastor Foroa, I start typing the first, it's, it's configured by the first four, four letters, it starts showing you what project the possible projects that, that uh, can be your, 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 your own project. So you then just select and you are uh, complying also that way to, the, to, the, um, to this. Also, this, 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 um, this configuration allows to, to, to librarians um, afterwards, after a, a record has been um, exposed or publicly made available, you can then afterwards, for example, the, the, the researcher or even you during a, a, um, a normal routine operation, you discover that you have a, a FP7 publication or a national funded publication, you can go there and through uh, the, the administrative um, tools, you can just unlock this field, this relation, put, for example, some sort of, of identification of your project, and you can add, as you see, for example, in this case, it's a publication that, that uh, had the grant uh, had, had the, has been funded by two European projects and the national project. So this is uh, made available in the metadata, is set there, and you can also uh, apply this, okay? You can check this on this, on this, um, on this record also. Just, uh, uh, just finishing uh, uh, a slide just to show you that all this is important because, as I told you in the beginning, um, open air is also is a, 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 um, has a, a, an infrastructure behind that can um, retrieve and aggregate the information of all repositories, and then you can have information about the publications about, uh, you have different filters, but in this case, for example, you can have information. In this case, uh, I, 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 I put the, 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 uh, uh, this uh, arrow pointing to, to our national case. For example, we have been doing this some months now, and in, in, a, in a few months we could collect uh, a national effort. This is not the, our case of Minho. A lot of the Portuguese repositories made these alterations. So currently, Open Air is already gathering more than 11,000 publications funded by the Portuguese uh, national fund, funder. Okay. So this is. I think this this could be also a, a good uh, motive for for your uh, scenario here to 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 further um, expand. This, this collaboration and you have all these useful links that you can um, go through, uh, find and discuss the guidelines, test and register, okay. Uh, you have all these. I'm sure that this, this, this um, presentation will be, be available. As I said before, you have here a, a, a good uh, representative a national open access desk. I think uh, you should also uh, interact with with, um, with Sylvia. She is the, the, the main contact person here. And thank you. Uh, you have the possibility to, to find and discuss. And if you want uh, to, 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 to contact, you can even contact directly uh, the open air desks through these, these contacts. OK, thank you. So I don't know if you want to. You actually have five minutes yeah. for your budget. <laughs> <laughs> so if you have any questions, please do. We only have five minutes. Yes. From the <laughs> <end of those. laughs> We're stupid now, probably. Because it's very important. I think what he said about the authority is uh, actually that you can download your repository yeah. for. Uh, so, Open Air has the, the AC 
projects funded, yeah. right? It's, so basically, if I understand correctly, from GitHub, we can download an authoritative base of 57 and current uh, Horizon project coding yeah. to embed in the repository, yeah. right? Okay, I got this right. And then you also have a list of funders, again in GitHub. Yeah. Is this what you're saying? Yeah. Yeah. Which list you got where from? Is this the Crossref list? What, 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 where, where is this list from? I'm not sure. Oh. I'm not working um, mm. closely with, with the, the, the open air team that has done this. I don't know if Silvia... Who's responsible for that? Uh, what uh, team? I don't know. I, I, I know Pedro, Pedro, uh, Pedro has, been, Pedro has okay. been working more intensively in, in this in this part. Mm -hmm. he, he made the, the bridge between, the, for example, the national uh, Portuguese funder yeah. with open air. So uh, I'm sorry not to be That's able okay. to, 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 to give you more information about this. But what we have done is that, for example, in the national case, I know that FCT provided uh, uh, an XML uh, file of the projects, of the projects all the projects, uh -huh. uh, and they they, prov they they gave that information to the technical to team to open yeah, air, yeah. and they prepared them on the, the yeah, yeah. XML format okay. or the format uh, uh, right format to be uh, exposed. Okay. For the FP7 Horizon 2020, I don't know if it was the European Commission directly. I don't know. Yeah, I know that they got this from the European Commission, but also, I mean, for the ability of open air and any repository, if you have, okay, open air wants to embed other funders as well, so it needs to have an authoritative funders list. Yeah, yeah. I suspect this is the crossref list, but I mean, okay, because we would like to have that as well. Yeah, yeah. You, uh, you, can, you, can, you can go... Through this this yeah, uh, yeah. this uh, link yeah. to, to to try to, to check it, but if uh -huh. you want, just uh -huh. email me yeah. or you okay. have Eloy's so contact or mm -hmm. whatever. Yeah. So the Cypriot funder would need to give you the XML list of the project numbers if they wanted to do what FCT does. Yeah. In if, you, there. if they so want to that proceed, should be clear. Yeah. For example, right now we we are doing um, we started with projects. Right now we are doing another list for the the. Um, the, the doctoral thesis uh, fund, uh, funded, uh, I don't know, <laughs> I'm missing the, the term, the, the, grant, uh, the grants for the, the doctoral thesis. They have a, a different um, uh, configuration. They are not projects, okay? Yeah. But uh, the, 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 open, the open access policy of our no national um, funder also uh, gives, pays a, a, a big, um, uh, attention also to, to the th thesis, master thesis and doctoral thesis that are funded, they must be uh, uh, submitted also into a, 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 a repository. But so that the leader doesn't freak out, I think the XML list is only the name of the project yeah, yeah, and yeah. the code. And the code, so this is not something Okay, hard. No, no, I think so, that's not... Yeah. Um, yeah, so effectively, I mean, this is just the names and the, the grant numbers, effectively. So if you I, I, don't know, them, I don't know what format they use. They, I don't know if the project... Uh, yeah. Anyway, that's something, that's something r relatively easy to do, I guess. And if you, could, if you lead them to use a node, if they don't have an institutional repository, you are covered. No. What happens will be that if they embed, you give them the, uh, you will give them the, to open air, the XML list of the project numbers, right? Project funded. So that when they... Exactly, so when, so when a researcher goes, uh, first of all, you could, you could also give those to the local repositories because, for example, the University of Cyprus may want to embed the list. In, independently, I think in the, independently of the, 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 the national policy, I think it could be right now a good idea to, 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 to put on the metadata uh -huh. some sort of information if it is funded or not. This is what because we're talking about. Yeah, I, so I, I didn't, I didn't uh, uh, explain in my, 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 uh, my presentation, but Open Air did also uh, another thing. In national case, they did a, a, a text mining uh, uh, process through all the, no, not, but some, we have a pilot of some, some uh, Portuguese repositories. What they have done, they had a, a, a text mining process. So they found a lot of publications funded by our national uh, f uh, funder that wasn't correctly um, 
uh, the sample reference, the, the, the sponsorship wasn't correctly uh, um, put on the metadata. So what we did, we 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 used that information and we put it on 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 the metadata. So it was also a, a good a good initiative of open open air. Yeah. So basically, I mean, what you need those lists, you give them to the local universities, they embed them in their poster. You give them to open air, they embed it, and then this can be exposed because when the researchers go to deposit, either in Cyprus or in Zenodo, they yeah. can say, who's the funder? Oh, the funder is the, yeah, the funder is the Cyprus uh, funding authority. What project? Oh, it's project 602, and then this can be shown. So this is the- Because it's, it's a way to simplify the, 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 the deposit job. And, and, and to comply with the, with the, with the guidelines. If we, if, if we tell a, a researcher, okay, you must put info dot dash repo dash FCT, they, the, the metadata won't be correct. So in this way, if you, he goes there to the, the metadata, he starts putting the name of his project, at least he knows the name of the project, he, he is right, right now he, he, he's uh, the, shown the number, the, the name of the project, he, he only has to select and then the, the, the information is put on the, on the right format. Okay, so I think that would be a, a very nice uh, initiative. Thank you, thank you. I'm really sorry that okay, we no don't problem. have time. Okay, no problem, I am sorry. <laughs> any other questions? In case you have any other questions, please email them to me. And uh, okay, you uh, have here be... also my email yes, if you want. Yes. Oh, so if you want to contact Vigato. Uh, yeah, but Sylvia okay. is the. Thank you very much for okay. coming. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.